Hello! Good evening! And we start with a fantastical lag spike on the intro screen. How's that? <laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome to this live stream. How are you doing? Have you had a good weekend? A great start. Yeah, I'm still annoyed by those little lag spikes in OpenRST2. They're, you know, they're fine if I'm just recording stuff because I can just wait. But on the live stream, they can be a bit annoying. But, eh, if that's the price to pay for, you know, all the great stuff that OpenRST2 brings, it's fine. Like, it's a bit annoying, but whatever, you know. Hi, Dezel. Welcome to the stream. Hello. It's certainly been a while for me. It has been, but I do remember your name, Pietro Lima. Um, it says that you're from Brazil, so I was assuming Peru because of Lima, you know, being the capital of Peru. But uh, apparently Brazil, or the BR is not Brazil, I don't know. Could be anything. Maybe you live on the Brazil 545. That's probably a road, right? <laughs> Marcel, your tree video blew my mind. The, the tree video, it was so amazing. It's... <laughs> The lovely thing about the tree video is that it's all true. Like, hang on, I'll just get, um, I'll, I'll just quickly get an old version of OpenRST2 running, just to show you. Um, it's loading. Fantastic. Hey, this is taking a while. There we go. So this is version 0.2.2 and if we go to added attractions, harmonic hills and then we place a small tree, there we go, we can remove it, no problem, don't worry about the sound, that's from the different game that's open. And the fountain, nope, we can't remove it. So. It all works. It's all true. But the wonderful thing is that people, some people weren't believing it. And that was just so much fun. I didn't expect it. Now, I expected it a little bit, but uh, thank you for the six months, a guy called Stu. Now, you know, I released that video, right? And the idea was that it was just a video about an absurd but true topic on April Fool's because it's absurd, it kind of fits the April Fool's vibe. I never had the idea that it would trick people this much, yet it did. I didn't really think about that. And at first, a few things, a few times I replied to a comment that uh, be like, yeah, it's all true. But then I started to lean into the Miss Mystery, so I did the pinned comment. <laughs> but, but, you know, I can assure you that I know whether it's true or not. <laughs> it's a whole lot of fun. It not be an April Fool's joke was the biggest April Fool's joke of them all. Yeah, and it wasn't even intended to be one. It was just be intended to be, oh, it's a fun video, you know. It's just a weird little thing on April Fool's. I didn't expect this kind of reaction. So... It's absolutely... I had a fantastic time with it. It's absolutely wonderful. It's just a fin fun little fact that doesn't really matter in the great scheme of things. Um, let's do the magic quarters, which we were working on. Also, lol, you can see all my saves for the ghost town challenge. Our self brother is here. Is he? I didn't see him. I... He might be. I don't know. Also, drown someone with a blue shirt. Well, let's get on that. There you go. That's not blue. That's blue. No, that's the black one. Okay, you are lucky. You get to live. I will click on you. That's also not the one I want to click on. There we go. Now I can kill you. Bye bye. You will die. He has stopped this stream for gifted subs. I think that's like this month. Because he was. He gave 40 subs last week. Um, and two subs on Wednesday. 
So, I think that's from that. Okay, so, just for those who weren't here last week, this is Magic Quarters. It's, you know, it's divided into quarters. It had a railroad all around it, which I didn't build. That was already there. It's a scenario from one of the RCT1 expansions. And, uh... I built a few right. This is kind of the deserty bit. And I did my best to decorate it. I'm not still not entirely happy with it. It's all right. You know, it definitely could have been worse. I like this oasis. And little building. Yeah, it's not bad. What coaster types do you have available? Quite a few. Holy damn. That's a lot. Oh yeah, we now have the corkscrew roller coaster. I believe we now have like... I thought we had the original corkscrew coaster now. Maybe not in this one, because... Hang on, let me just... Um, restart, because I'm in version 0.4.4 now. So, let's just open up... Where do we certainly have the corkscrew coaster available? Uh, I know, Crumbly Woods. It says in, in the in the patch notes of 0.4.4, it said we now have like the original corkscrew coaster. Yeah, look at those. Those are the original roller coaster tycoon one trains. Which are quite different. I don't I didn't even remember, because this is so long ago. How did you unlock all maps without beating previous? This is a roller coaster tycoon 2, not 1. You ha there's a setting. Which in the options of open RST2. Uh, there we go. I know progressive unlocking, which is off for me, because I don't want to bother. Also, I have technically beaten all of these, but it gets reset constantly when I go to different versions and stuff. I have literally beaten all of them. In one video. So, uh, let's have a quick test to see... Oh yeah, we also have the old icon. Which is from Mega Park. Okay, still got the half corkscrew. The banking is the same. I think it's the same coaster, except maybe... Uh, we have loops, right? Yes. Maybe the, right, the modes? No, same modes as well. Okay, so it looks to be the same coaster. What if we do launched mode? Yeah, still same range. Same coaster except different trains. Can't you just add them both to see the difference? I could, but then I would have to do all things. This was easier. Anyway, let's get back to... Hehe. <laughs> let's get back to magical magic quarters. I have no, no idea how people can see the differences in the train. Well, it just looks different. <laughs> like, this is the, the train we got now, which is clearly more a bit wider, more angular. Last week's plan with the river, pine forest and low coaster. What do you even mean with low coaster? I mean, if it's a pine forest, it definitely has to be this bit, obviously. Because this is already dirty. Heh, <laughs> dirty. But first, I'm going to get... Am I going to get rid of the hills? Maybe not here. Maybe not here. It's a rain coaster. You know, the ideal coaster for a train coaster would be a mine train, but uh, I'm not going to build another mine train coaster. Like a coaster that doesn't stick out super high above the train. So a terrain coaster, basically. Well, let's see. Let's just start with a nice coaster here. We have all the cash we want. Built a mini sus. No. How about no? <laughs> Thank you for the sub, Cool Bro 619 Um, I don't want a wooden coaster either. You know what? How about a corkscrew coaster? Steel looping coaster. All right, I can do a steel looping coaster. Um, 
where to build. I kind of want to build the station sort of in the middle. Kind of like I did with Leafy Lake. Okay. Obviously, we do need to get some height at the start. Or shall we go down with a steep drop? I think we shall go down with a steep drop. Now, basically, the idea of this park is to make a pretty park. Now... As you may know, I am not very confident in my ability to make pretty parks. So, uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> okay, fire all these staff. Uh, well, we can do that easily, but let's do it complicatedly. I could just press one button on the plugin, but uh, let's do it a bit more complicatedly by just firing them all manually. There we go, oh, that was still easy. Alright, and then we... I think we really make this like... Make this be one with the terrain. So it's like constantly going underground and stuff. I think that could be cool. Get lessons from Dirkling. Yeah, but he charges so much. He is expensive. You know, it's funny. I can... Basically just... Entire... Oh, dang it. Entirely naturally build any kind of... Coaster just by hand that's... Functional. Yeah, when I need to make it... Good looking, I'm... I don't really know what I'm doing. I'd watch a video series where Dirkling teaches more so how to build a pretty park. I don't know if I want to make that video series. <laughs> what I think would be cool is having the coaster go over a small river or stream with lots of foliage and pine trees. And then have it dip below and above the tree line several times. Yeah, I could make like a, a, a river that starts from like here. Something like that. I'm really v feeling very uncomfortable at the moment. This is so not what I'm good at. And you know, that's fine if I'm like playing a game like Stardew that I don't know. Because, you know, then I just learn and whatever. I'm not supposed to be good at that. It is... I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Hang on, let's back up a bit. You're in a hilly area. A river here would be tricky. I mean, if I can make waterfalls in it... You can try the river in the lowest part of this quadrant. You know, we could make rivers with a bit of a... With a bit of a... Uh, what's it called? Waterfalls. Maybe I should make the river first? I think making the river first would be a good idea. Yeah, I don't like this looping coaster. We should make the landscape first. And then build a ride around that. I think that's a better idea. So now we have a bit of an ugly landscape with kind of holes in it. You know what? I should just get rid of this entire thing. Although I can't get rid of it too much because I do need to, you know, keep the keep it nicely connected to the park fence. But I'll manage that. Also, Hooverkins, I had great fun on your stream yesterday. Because it, it's fun. I like, you know, I like teaching people. And you were a good learner. You know, basically easy to work with. And also, 
dare I say it, a good streamer. You were entertaining. Because, you know, I have... I've been in plenty of people's rollercoaster tycoon streams. It's a thing I sometimes do. And... You know, I don't just start giving out advice everywhere, but sometimes people do ask for advice. Which is fine. But sometimes people just aren't picking up on the advice, and that's annoying. Especially now, if I would be sitting next to them, it would be so much easier. But I'm just telling people stuff through a screen. Which is always a bit more difficult. I remember this map was kind of easy. Yeah, it is an easy map, but I'm not playing this to, you know, to see if I can beat it. Because, first off, I've already beaten it. And secondly, it's not difficult. Alright, I should hire staff again, because I can. Uh, how about 40 handyman? One day I'll have to do a stream with my dad playing RCT for the first time. Oh, I should do a stream with my mom. That would be amazing. Having her play Roller Coaster Tycoon. That would be so much fun. I'm pretty sure she'd be down for it. Alright, so this is basically the land we have. So yeah, maybe it's indeed not the best idea. Maybe I should probably make like a valley and do it like here. A river a bit like this, which can then go onto this lake. You did miss some finger licking action with Colonel Sanders. You know, I appreciate the funniness of that stream, but honestly, I had a much better time at Hooverkin's stream because I was a bit weirded out by Colonel Sanders. Oh, this lake is one lower than that lake. Okay, that'll mean we have to have a waterfall in there somewhere. Which is fine. We'll just do that. On this side. Um, also, drown someone in a red shirt. Are we just going to do the entire rainbow? The entire color wheel? You are going to be drowned, my friend. I do have a camera. I just wanted to order it. I just have to order a USB-C to use an adapter since they only sell them the other way around. I also have a webcam, which I even used today, but... I'm still not comfortable with having my face on the live stream. Uh, it's not the fact that I don't want my face out there. Because I've, yeah, I've done a face reveal photo, a photo a few times. It's fine. It's just the whole live thing. You know? Having to, you know, keep my face <laughs> in an acceptable way for live. <laughs> Instead of just, I don't know, slouching in my chair or whatever I want. Hey, bro, welcome. Please make the very boring ride and call it Mr. Bones Mild Ride. Oh, I can definitely do that. Some sort of car ride. Oh, I'm gonna have sloped bank max, the banks, Max. Don't worry about that. We'll have that. Okay, now the problem is that we don't actually have... Um, a good... Well, we don't, we don't have waterfalls scenery. What happened? Oh, this is just the all scenery tab. Who's ever gonna use that? <laughs> we don't have any kind of waterfall scenery item. Cheat in the waterfall. I kind of want to do it without. What if... <laughs> Hang on, would this kind of work? Uh, does this look like a waterfall? It kind of works. 
This kind of works. <laughs> this kind of looks like a waterfall. You know, if I do it like this. Got to be creative. I can believe that. I can definitely believe that. Now that's a waterfall. What about the ice cliff terrain texture? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. that that's what you usually do behind waterfalls. That's believable enough. What happens if they need to be watered? Oh, I have that cheat on anyway, because I have other flower beds like in the middle of nowhere here as well, so that's fine. European Mother's Hair has already happened. Pretty sure it hasn't. If it did, I forgot. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, though. You know, I let my mom know I, I appreciate her, but not necessarily on Mother's Day. Giving gifts on Mother's Day is a sham anyway, because it's all pre-planned. Thank you for the follow. Game spawner one for one. Alright, let's now actually... Okay, let's first make this a bit nicer. There we go. Let's now make hills around it. And actually give it a bank. It should be not this wide. There we go. This is much better. It's a flowerful. You know, I think... I am proud of this. I think this looks really nice. I'm proud of being creative with it. And if you are involved, that's too bad for you. Hi, Tai Baba. Welcome. What's the plan for the stream? The plan is to make this beautiful. And hope I can somehow manage that. Which, uh... It's going, you know, I'm not saying it's going bad. I had a sort of a bit of a breakdown earlier where I just didn't know what to do, but then I just removed everything I'd built with the looping coaster. Oh, oops. Okay, then we go like that way. Looks fine so far. Oh, no, no, no. Like that. Now we can have it go down like that. And then, there we go. Does that work? No, that doesn't. No! Crap, that doesn't work. All right. Well, we can do it like that. Ah, yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, time to fill up these holes. That one. And that one. And we can do that. All right, there we go. Do you think OpenRST2 will ever add an undo button? I don't know. Maybe. Okay, this is so far our river. It's slightly widening. Which is good. Because, you know, that's sort of how real rivers work. And now I'm going to build more mountains around it. Because it's not, these aren't levees, they're part of bigger mountains. Someone made a Dutch levees joke. Which is kind of low-hanging fruit. We're going to have a bit more mountainous terrain here. Is it possible to make the floor black where the river comes out of the mountain? There is. You can't make the floor black. 
Well, you can, but... Oops. I can't hear. Because we don't have the void available. <laughs> yeah, I have five minute autosaves, which is close enough to being on undo. They've saved my ass a few times. Although the annoying thing is, yeah, I like to have a lot of autosaves, like 500 or whatever. Or 100 usually. So that I can go back fairly far in time. But every time I open an older version of OpenRST2 where you couldn't adjust the number of autosaves yet. It reverts back to 10. And of course I... And I can't be bothered or just forget to send it back to a high number every time I open the new version again. So I often just end up with 10 autosaves. And I go back to early version fairly often. I mean, I did obviously did loads of times for... You know, April Fool's video. Because I had to record the bits about the thing in, April, in earlier versions. Where it still was the bug. Well, bug. Old behavior. Drink some water. Good idea. Ah, nice. I see a red door and I want it painted black. A red door. I don't see a red door. Okay, this looks quite nice. How do you revert to earlier versions? I just have them all installed on my computer as a portable file. So I just run the executable in that portable zip file. Oh, not zip file, but in that folder. Okay, maybe I should touch up the mountains properly at the end. I don't know how high they should be as well. Marcel doesn't know his classics. I don't know any Rolling Stones songs. Isn't there like one called Start Me Up or something like that? But I don't know how it goes, even if that's one. You know, I don't really want the looping coast. I want something with inversions. And with inversions, I don't mean a vertical loop. I mean the corkscrew coaster. You forgot a bit of water on the river. I'll add that in a minute. First, though. I think this is a nice place for the station. Good terrain work, thank you. It's not quite done yet, but uh, it's definitely getting there. Also, we need to renew the ads. Obviously, advertising for the best ride in the game, the car ride. Also, speaking of Mr. Bone's mild ride... I could do the car ride as the Mr. Bones mild ride. Or is it already named? It's not. And the stats are definitely mild. It has a terrible excitement rating. So I can do that. Because I kind of don't want a second car ride. There we go. If you're still here, bro, there's your Mr. Bones mild ride. Maybe it'd be cool to have a small rocky spot somewhere. Don't stress me out, okay? I'm just building... One thing at a time. Ah, I forgot a bit of water there. Yeah, you can... I mean, you can see it. But... There we go. Okay, that's not entirely beautiful. I think that's better. Yeah, that's definitely better. Okay, time to go up. Because I had a fun idea. That we go down again. Yeah, this terrain is much easier to work with than what we had earlier. Okay, and then we'll go that way. Okay, and what I wanted to do now... Was... Have it come like out of the ground like this. And then like that. 
And then we do a small half loop. Half a corkscrew. Half a corkscrew. And another small half loop. We'll fix the terrain around it later. To make it beautiful. But I just had the idea in my, in my head. Of it going like this. Uh, I think I need to be... A, does this work? Yes, this works. It's not entirely... Un, you know, it's not entirely beautiful underground. But that's underground. Who cares? Uh, maybe... Hang on. I should probably go the other way. I think that's better. Also known as a cobra roll. Yeah... I do know all the words for it, but sometimes I forget. Okay, then we'll come up above here again. Maybe that's a bit too close to the river. So, instead... We're gonna go there. Isn't that wonderful? And then we can go over the river. Just like that. And I'll even do a bit of diagonal track. Oh, that's a great speed through that uh, bat wing. Okay, it's not having a lot of speed here. So, let's go down. Hang on, do I have... I have boosters. Let's do boosters underground. You know, hide them. Thank you, Lord Fuller. Uh, me kiki be. That's very easy to pronounce. Okay, that should be enough boosters to get us somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, that's a, that's some... Well, I'll put a few more here. How did you come up with the idea for 10 coasters in such a small area in Ghost Town? Um, so, it was Monday and I was just mucking about a bit in the, the game and... I don't know why, but for some reason I just opened Ghost Town. And I started playing about with the whole, you know, block break thing where you can... Uh, where, 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 you know, rides can overshoot block breaks. And I just suddenly had the idea for it. I don't know how it came, but suddenly I was like, huh. Because uh, I built kind of a small wooden coaster design. Um, that was long enough. And suddenly it was, hang on, if this is long enough, I can probably get the excitement up with stuff like... Uh, with, uh, you know, with stuff like the scenery and that kind of stuff. So if I can do that, then I, I can beat the park, probably. That was basically how that went in my mind. And turns out I was right. Photo section. I can put one at the very end. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly great. Oh, what if we just do... Breaks there. And do it like that. I don't really want to put the photo section at the very end. Because that's a bit ugly. So. 
How about no photo section then? Because I don't really got the space for it. Or maybe... Yeah, no, I think I can do it. If I just put a photo section here. Uh, photo section... And then immediately go down. There we go. That's a photo section. I like this ride. I like what I've done here. Yeah, this is enough like a real coaster. You know, this is a realistic photo section. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Building a beautiful coaster for guests to build the entrance and the exit. To be honest, that's kind of on brand for me lately anyway. Not lately, just on stream. Okay, let's follow the train. RCT in Minecraft. Me and my brother once worked for a bit on like... A recreation of Forest Frontiers, but we didn't get much further than the entrance and a bit of defense. But people have definitely done that. I mean, I've built coasters in Minecraft. Minecart coasters, you know, building coasters is like, it's, it's all separate Minecraft category of things. What would you say are the most important mods to have for RST2? If you mean like Plugins, none. None are truly important. You can play perfectly fine without it. I mean, I'm playing without plugins now. That's not entirely true. I'm playing with one plugin, the Money Make plugin. But I don't need it to make money. Like, I have way more money than I can spend anyway. Um, but let's see. Inspect Park Rating. I don't really use it very often, but it's sometimes useful for videos if I want to point something out about the park rating. Peep editor can be fun. <laughs> like you can do this. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Edit ride vehicles. That's for people like Dirk Link who like to do all kind of uh, messy stuff and glitchy stuff. Twitch streamer integration. Well, only if you live stream and I barely use it. Bench warmer is when you want an easy way to put benches and bins and q line TVs on stuff. Can be useful. Destroy path furniture. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's in the similar one to, to just explode guests. Um, live ride measurements can definitely be useful. I mean, I use it in the Ghost Town video. If I just select a ride, next time this will go to automatically measure. Hang on, merry go round. Airtime? What? I mean, airtime is not a stat the merry-go-round gives. It gives none of these stats. How did we just get airtime on the merry-go-round? How much? So this is nine rotations. Let's see how much we get in total. Because the last time we sort of got halfway. We just started measuring. We also apparently have minus one negative vertical cheese, which makes sense for the horses, kind of. I mean, not minus one, but a little bit of negative vertical cheese, because they do go up and down. Secret calculations for all rides. Yes, something like that, I assume. We're on 14 seconds, 15 seconds of airtime already. Oh, thank you for the sub, Funky Turtle. This is <laughs> 20 seconds of airtime. What about a car ride? I mean, I'll, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna wait this out for a bit, for a minute. It, it does have terrible lag, by the way. Look at that. This is. If I click this away, the lag will be non-existent. That's because it has to do a lot of things. Uh, but that's that is very useful sometimes, but I rarely use it. Um, apart from the odd video. Staff manager, I mean, 
This is a... Oh, oops, that was fire entertainment. I meant to double them. I mean, double entertainment, double, 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 double. Yeah, this is a bad idea. 4,096 enter... Hang on, this... I think this one just got a whole lot faster. There were ba barely any lag here. How about now? Okay, that was more lag. We have 8,000 entertainers. Uh, we just got payday because I lost like 50k. But yeah, uh, let's fire them all. Which also is a bit of a lag spike. <laughs> Quite a lag spike, actually. We're still spiking. We're still spiking. How is firing them taking much longer than hiring them? That's weird. You could use that plugin to fire all the stuff. I could, but... It's much more fun to do it manually. How did... Wow! I didn't expect this to take this long. Is it really calculated up and down airtime for the horses? I don't think it was doing that. I think it was doing something else. That horse is just an animation. I would be very surprised if that was actually what it was doing. Because you hired them in steps. Yeah, but I hired 4096 at once at some point, And that took like a second? This is taking already like 30 seconds. So... There we go. Finally. Let's just hire 20 of them. Anyway, then we have prize manager. Oh, it's not actually enabled. Never mind. I wasn't using any plugins after all. Uh, that's what we're charging for the entrance, of course. 69. Um, but can be very useful for making lots of money. It's probably the most useful out of them all. Scenery manager, very useful for doing all kind of, well, you know, big scenery stuff. Soft gas cap calculator, you know, if you want to know your soft gas cap, mine is 410. Well, that's not very high, is it? And some RST randomizer, which I don't really use. Anyway, let's see the stats. 6, 12, 8, 16, 3, 7, 9. That's pretty good. I could see programming the horse as a vehicle. Well, you know what? Maybe it would be doing that. Who knows? Okay, that's... I'm going to do the, the, the whole thing with the coloring later. Let's start with doing a queue line. Queue underneath the station. With a tunnel. You're very excited about it, it seems. I was thinking something like that. I would definitely have to go underneath somewhere here. I mean, I could technically go above it, but that would be ugly. I'm a little annoyed that you can't tell the price manager to charge for the, both the entrance and the rides. You can only tell it to do it for RST1 scenarios. Can you not? Oh. Well, you could, uh, you know, tell the whoever made it to get off their ass and fix it. If you really want to. A tunnel. Getting out of it here. There we go. I also want a path going through here somewhere. Let's take... We already have a greenish path for the desert. Let's take the grey tiled path. And 
And then we'll have it like that. Big bridge like that. And there we go. This still definitely needs a lot of beautifying. This is uh, doesn't look particularly great yet. This corner doesn't look great anyway. So I'm gonna do it like that. That looks a lot better. But what if we... Go like that. Because you know, you, you don't want to have too long a straight section. I think this is a lot more exciting already. What kind of amazing side discussions will be had today? Oh, I don't know. I I had a bit of a faff around with chat GPT today. And I tried to convince it that 2 plus 3 equals 6. I wasn't really successful. But the only way I could manage it was by saying it that I used a different mathematical system. And that in my system it does equal 6. Hang on, I'm pretty sure I need to close and to remove this. It was only in touch mode anyway. I'm pretty sure that if I just built it like that, that I can do that. Uh, crap this. No, dang it. Then, okay, so if I now, yeah, that's what I want. That's beautiful. Why would you try that? To see if I could. That was a friend's idea, basically. There we go. This does need to be one higher. There we go, now the tunnel renders properly. I know it's just a chatbot, but it feels kind of mean. Well, actually, speaking about chat GPT, um, I, you, you know, you might know I do a whole, the whole... Oh, the first coming from the corkscrew. Uh, the cockscrew, I'll drown that one. You know, you might know I do a lot of things with speed skating lists, and Max already knows this. Um, I had a bit of a problem with some formulas not working properly, so I was like, you know, I should probably try to fix that. And I, I kind of wanted to rewrite them anyway, because they weren't exactly to my liking. They were overly long and complicated. And Max was like, maybe you can ask ChatGPT to try to fix your code. But I thought, well, it's already kind of complicated. I'll just ask ChatGPT to see if it... Can just write better code from scratch without using it, without giving it any of my code. And it did. It just because basically I wanted to calculate the average of. Okay, I need to do this here as well. The average of three times. Of three speed skating times. So. And there's a function for that which you can just use, like average time or whatever it's called. But I didn't know that. But ChatGPT did know that. Which was wonderful. Is there anything else I need to fix with it? Like coming out of the ground? Yeah, definitely. Is this... Or does this look good? No, this is also dragged down. Or is it? 
Yes, it is. Come on. There we go. And the final one. They need to get on that bug. It might have already been reported. I don't know. I should check that before I make another report. All right. Did any guests already get on it? No, because I closed it too early. Oh, campaigns have already finished again. Well, we do need to keep advertising, otherwise we stop making money. The countdown timer I used in my stream yesterday I also made by asking ChatGPT to make it for me. Nice. You are far way better at this game than me, man. Well, that might be very true. It most likely is. But that's like you picking up guitar, playing it like whenever you're free for a year, and then telling someone who's been in a professional band for 10 years that they're better at guitar. I mean, of course they are. They've spent thousands of hours learning their instrument. I've spent thousands of hours learning Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Of course I'm good at it. Slime making this so humble joke. You know, if you're good at something and you know you're better than someone and it's relevant to mention it like here, then just being humble and not mentioning it, like you shouldn't always just be humble. Don't be afraid to acknowledge what you're good at. Like, yeah, I'm good at roller coaster tycoon. Now I don't go up to random people saying, hey, look at me how good I am. But if it's relevant, I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah, I am really good at roller coaster tycoon. And probably one of the most knowledgeable players out there in terms of, you know, that, that kind of functional knowledge. Just like Dirk think it's one of the best in technical knowledge. And there are a whole lot of lesser known people who don't really make videos on new elements and stuff who are really great at technical knowledge as well. Yeah, you don't need to be humble all the time. Imagine that if someone says to you, say in bold, oh, you're such a better runner than I am. What do you want him? To say, no, I'm not. Also, welcome, Kerry. Being good at RST2 is always relevant. Imagine that. Me going to, like, my brother's wedding or something, giving a speech and saying, you know, I remember when I wasn't good at roller coaster, too, but now I am good. There's also a flip side, humble bragging. Yeah. It's like acting like you're humble, but... Pretending to be humble, but at the same time bragging. <laughs> you know, I wasn't good at roller coaster Taku, but now I'm good. Is true. You know, it's fun to think about, but... Like, um... It's 2023 now. So, seven years ago... I was just mediocre. It wasn't necessarily bad. Like, I could build a decent custom coaster. But that's about it. In, I started completing all scenarios in RST2 well, in, in around, well, about seven years ago. And I look if I look back at those save, a lot of them are using a lot of pre-builds. Because I wasn't entirely comfortable building all those custom coasters yet. I think you would have gifted subs line. Is it raining again? Um, I'm trying to make obviously the, the kind of a good looking hilly terrain here. Also, I should make this like that. Yeah, that definitely looks better. I should do that everywhere. There it's relevant.
What 8,000 meter peak is nicknamed the Savage Mountain? Well, I only... Lord! <laughs> we have failed our objective. What's our park value? Not even half! <laughs> I mean, I said it was an easy scenario. It was! I could have easily beaten this with just a few park value bombs if I wanted. But as I said earlier, or earlier last stream, I don't care. <laughs> we have 214k company value, it's ridiculous. We had almost three, almost 200k in the bank at some point as well. All those guests you blew up. Oh yeah, I blew up a few guests. <laughs> you can't see that dip here. <laughs> Lol. Anyway, I, oh yeah, about the mountains. I only know two 8,000 meter plus mountains anyway. And those are Everest and K2. So if it's not one of those that's called the Savage Mountain, then I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, it's a peak either in the Himalayas or whatever mountain range the one in Pakistan is called. Or like, I mean the one in like Afghanistan like. I think there are like, those are technically two separate mountain ranges. But outside of the, they're, they're very close together. And outside, but outside of that, there isn't a single mountain over 8,000 meters. Even, or even over 7,000. You have the whole Central Asia region, which has lots of tall peaks. And the highest peak outside of that is, I believe, the Aconcagua in Argentina? Somewhere in the Andes. Which is like 69 something meters. Marshall failing forest frontiers. Oh, I have failed forest frontiers so many times. You know all those challenges that I do, right? I fail those challenges all the time. I have failed forest frontiers so many times while trying to beat it with like only a toilet or whatever. Okay, I want a ride here. A guest with the same colored shirt as you are wearing now currently. Okay, so that's sort of kind of turquoise-like. Can I spot a guest with that? Okay, so that I see one that's fairly accurate. I believe it's just gray. But this is fairly accurate. You will die, guest 7053. I think what RCT pulls off better is having the coaster types feel different and having different design limits compared to, say, Parkitect and especially Planet Coaster. I have... I've played both, but not very much. Have you... Like, do all, are all the coasters basically the same except looks and stats in Planet Coaster? Okay, what ride do we want here? Maybe an observation tower. But observation tower we should build closer to the middle of the park, but that's... Nah, let's build it here. The thing you can see the entire park just from one angle, which is nice. Okay, how about we build it like... One lower than the path. There. It's super hard to make a 3D coaster game park look good. I agree. Which is why RCT is so nice. RCT 2 specifically and RCT 1. They're so easy to make your park look, look good. You know, the whole thing about Planet Coaster is it's just not a casual game. You can't really play it casually. I mean, you can, of course, but... It just doesn't 
really work. But that does work in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. For all we know, Marcel streams naked. As far as I can remember, there is one video which I recorded without wearing a shirt. Oops. Uh, which was the video where I beat uh, Urban Park without buying any land and without buying any ads. Uh, which was years ago. Which was because it was like 38 degrees. Okay. I think I'm pretty much done with the hills. Let's treeify it. So we should definitely have a thick cover of trees. Also a lot of bushes mostly around the stream. Let's start with that. Once again, I don't know what I'm doing, but as I said, well, not entirely, you know, I'm not terrible at scenery, but I'm not really good either. But as I said, the nice thing about Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is that I can just yeet whatever kind of bushes and trees down, and it will always look at least decent. It's easier to start, in, start with the trees. And fill in the bushes later. Oh yeah, I'm going to do first only the bushes around the river because there it's kind of different, you know. Okay, that looks more like a planted bush. Let's use that one. And of course, we need the bulrush as well. I know where you can find huge bushes. Isn't there like a statue of both George Bushes that's pretty big somewhere? That would be huge bushes. Man, for me, RST is a game that's hard to come back after a break, but addictive once you start playing again. Well... It's hard to come back after a break. It's definitely not hard to get into the schwung of things again. Because you won't have forgotten much. Because it's so easy. Forgotten? Good English, Marcel. Good English. And here we have the self-proclaimed professional streamer Englishing extremely well. I mean, I say self-proclaimed, I'm literally def definitionally a professional streamer because I do it for money. I believe as long as you, like, do it for money and, uh, you know, pay taxes on it and stuff, it counts as being a professional. Of course, there are two kind of different definitions. There's that definition and there's also the definition of someone, you know, being good. So, there's kind of two different definitions going on here. You know, someone, you know, you can be a professional at a hobby too, even if you don't make any money with it. Can you no scope 360 drown a guest? Um, if I had my camera on, I would probably now stand up, do a 360. And drown a guest, but I can't be bothered. What's the little path atop the center tower? Punishment zone. I didn't actually put it there, but that's a mountain guy and mountain girl. It's not exactly punishment, that's just where they live. Yeah, 
You know what I find funny? You know, those are GeoGuessr players. In the news, they got called like professional Google Maps players or something like that. Rainbolt has uh, been in the news. Y you guys know Rainbolt? He is like one of the reasons that GeoGuessr kind of went mainstream. And big in mainstream. He's a pretty cool guy. But the, the best the best thing about it is that his actual name is Rainbolt. I thought it was just a cool like screen name that he came up with. Which it would be. But no, he's he's just called Trevor Rainbolt. I'm a professional martial watcher. You know, that sounds kind of creepy. I'm a sucker for cool last names. I've told you guys about this before, but there's a girl on YouTube. Um, she's a caver. And her name is literally Elise Freshwater Blizzard. How is that not the coolest name you've ever heard? That's amazing. Is that one name or multiple? It's Elise as first name and then Freshwater Dash Blizzard. So hyphenated as the last name. And her videos are pretty fun as well. I learned I learned about her when uh, Tom Scott had her as a guest, trying to teach him caving, but it turned out he was pretty bad at it. Hey, thank you for the gifted sub, Mr. Awesome. I have seen all of your videos on YouTube, Marcel, and I have completed all parts on Classic on the phone. Well, good on you. Are you also going to become a professional roller coaster tycoon player? Wow, that's a nice graphical glitch there. Did you see Tom's second attempt? Yes, I did. He apparently trained for that by sitting in ice baths and stuff like that. But the reason he failed the first time, for those who don't know, is that he couldn't handle the cold of the water that was in the cave. You know, they were all wearing wetsuits and stuff, but. It was still too cold for him, and he went into like sort of like a cold shock, something like that. So they had to turn back, which was unfortunate, but you know it happens. And you know, good on him and the safety team for recognizing his limits and having you know having him turn back when it was still safe to do so, early enough. And then he went back. I trained a lot, and then did it. Actually got to the end of the cave. Or actually the end where they were originally supposed to be going. I don't know if it was actually the end of the cave. But, you know, whatever. A lot of cave deaths happen when people don't turn back when they should. Yeah, that wasn't ever going to happen here. Firstly, because Tom Scott takes safety very seriously. And because of that, um, they had a whole safety team and a camera team and... You know, Elise was there. And it wasn't a particularly difficult cave. It's just that Tom couldn't handle the cold. Without the videos, you can't complete the classic scenarios on the phone. Because you don't have the OpenRST2 version on the phone. You def What do you mean? Because classic has all the scenarios. Or am I missing something? Yeah, OpenRST2 technically has a phone port. Uh, that's true. I don't know how well it works. It used to work not at all, but that was years ago, so it might have changed now. So don't take anything I say on that as truth, because, well, say the truth. Keep Take it as truth that I don't know. 
Do we have pick a coast type disabled? Yes, because this is not a stream. Um, where I'm, you know, building coaster types, building coasters like that. Maybe change part of the part of the train to the dirty cross stop. I was gonna do that. Don't uh, be too hasty. <laughs> Fire all the stuff. You just want to have your fun, don't you? I think you missed the part where I had eight thousand entertainers. For a bit. I lost 50k because of that. Don't forget to drink some water. And I was activated at the same time as carries fire all the stuff. See, if that happens, then I might miss one. So, thank you. I have admit, you had one of my favorite April Fools this year. Because that video of all intents and purposes seems to actually be true after watching it. Oh yeah, it's 100% true. There's nothing incorrect in that video. I mean, maybe unintentionally I got a fact wrong, but I don't think I did. Of course, the part about, you know, why it's there is a little bit of speculation. I didn't, don't, ex of course, exactly know Chris Sawyer's reasons for it, but other than that, it was great. It's my favorite Apple Fools I've done, definitely. Funny how you have a dense forest in the park and outside is a wasteland. Yeah, you can't help that. Drown a green shirter. It's like, it's sounding like cults. Or like tribes. Like, I'm a green shirter, you're a blue shirter. I like Minecraft April Fools. Eh, I got a bit bored with it. I started it, but I got quickly bored with it, so I uh, didn't play it for that long. Did you know it's Open RC2's ninth birthday birthday today? Is it? I didn't know it was uh, born in 2014. So on April 2nd, Ted had the idea to make Open RC2. Well, I probably had the idea earlier, but on April 2nd he started it. Happy birthday! So in nine years we went from, well, basically version 0.01 or whatever, to basically 0.4.4, because that was released very recently. Well, that's some very good going. Because as I've said before, without OpenRST2, I would not be making YouTube videos now. I mean, there's a chance I would still be making them, but definitely not about Roller Coaster Tycoon. The same goes for the community, basically. Without the community, I wouldn't be doing it. Because the community, basically, you know, after I posted some stuff on Reddit, the community encouraged me. Um, to get better and stuff. You know, I posted my stuff, I got, you know, good feedback, and people were like, you know, wonder what you can do next, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, thank you for open RST2, um, Johnny Cesar, and everyone else. Yeah, I might have finished the study or something. I don't know. You know, without Erlikos Tycoon, all little things would have been different. I was in a very difficult spot at some point because study was going absolutely horse shit. And there were some other issues, which is all I'm going to say about that. Um, and at that point, I was basically like, well, I don't know what I want to do. And I talked about it with my mom. And we were like, okay. I was I was at that point pretty sure I was able to make Roller Coaster Tycoon work, you know, YouTube. Of course, not one hundred percent, 
Because at that time, at that point, I wasn't really making enough to live off yet. But so I started making videos again, and did it actually 100% went for it, and it thought it worked. I still find it amazing that I'm able to make a living by making videos about Roller Coaster Tycoon. Like, it's not like I'm making video about Minecraft or something. You know, there have been, there have been, there have been people getting millions on views of Minecraft since 2011. No, it's Roller Coaster Tycoon. How? How? Just how is that possible? How is it possible that I'm getting tens of thousands and sometimes hundreds of thousands of views on the roller coaster tycoon? I mean, part of it is that you need fewer views than I thought you would to make a living. But other than that, it's just odd. Don't wonder why, just enjoy. I can do both, right? I can wonder why and I can enjoy it. I definitely enjoy it. Because it's a nice game. Well, just because of that. I think it's also partly because, of course, the way I make videos. I want to take some credit for that. I think my best... I think that the, my strongest aspect uh, ability in make video making is the storytelling. Basically, the script writing. You know, my editing is alright. It's a bit basic, but it's alright. It's functional. And my narration is... Well, that definitely took a long way, but it, it, it's pretty good now. Still not my best point. I think our best point is just the, yeah, the storytelling, the pacing, basically general scripting. And I'm very happy that I'm good at that. Because all the other stuff, like editing, I was absolutely not good at. Recording voice, I was absolutely not good at. Yeah, that came with the times, but I'm decent at both, at both now. But the storytelling, that got me, you know, that got me through the early times. Where my videos basically weren't very good yet. The competition is also a bit slimmer than with Minecraft. That's definitely true. There's a smaller audience, but there's also not as much competition. Minecraft has a lot of YouTubers. And with Rollercoaster Tycoon, I have basically no competition. Obviously, there are some people making, you know, quite a few people making similar videos, but in terms of size and audience size, I have basically no competition at the moment. And sometimes, like a big YouTuber, like, uh, what's he called? That engineering guy, who's like a real-life engineer who plays sort of like simulation games. I forgot what he's called, but, you know, he made a few Rollercoaster Tycoon videos. And that's fine. They're not actually competition because they're not knowledgeable about the game. They might know a bit about it, you know, be decent. Real civil engineer, yeah, that guy. Um, but it's not like they're stealing my audience that are here for me actually knowing stuff about the game. I think I should get some new handyman. 
If anything, they're bringing a new audience. Yeah. Same with like the spiffing Brit, but he also gave me a shout out, so that was nice. It does help being basically the by far the biggest one in my niche. Because it means that people often give me shout out, you know, bigger YouTubers when they do something that they learn from my video. That also helps that I'm sort of a more a tutorial kind of channel. Not entirely, of course, but you know, if it's just, if I just, you know, did some let's plays, that's very different than, you know, then they wouldn't say I learned this from Marcel very, as often. So that definitely helps just the style of content, which is a happy coincidence. In seven-ish years, once I've mastered custom coaster building, I'll be your competition. I look forward to it. I think it took me... Like, from basically being okay for someone who played the game as a youngin and still occasionally. Which was basically what I was in, like, early 2016. To go from what I would say... Really good... Took me about two years. But I played a lot in that time. So, don't know if you have the time for that. I think your accent helps. That's why I kept watching your videos. You know, at first I was kind of annoyed with my accent. Especially because I got quite a few comments, always from Dutch people, that um, hated on it. But over time I started to accept it and like it. That, you know, it's part of what makes me unique as well. But that took a while. You could consider sponsoring OpenRST2 a bit. I did see those sponsor links on the subreddit post today. We didn't get around to it yet. Other people could do it as well, by the way. You can sponsor... Um, a few devs. On GitHub. Don't know exactly how it works, like I said, because I haven't done it yet. Okay, I'm kind of just basically building random stuff here. Looks not too bad. But it also feels like it's not entirely complete. Well, you know what? Let's do the ground textures. And then let's see if we can then maybe do some more stuff. Oh, fuck. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was actually not really a problem. Just deleted some trees and stuff. Where's my undo button? <laughs> <laughs> Which we talked about earlier. That would have been useful. Okay, that's good enough for now. Okay, let's do some... Okay, definitely... Yeah, landscaping is not on. This already looks a lot better. I love it when you swear. Yeah, I don't swear a lot. Because I try to keep these vaguely family friendly, these streams. But sometimes... You know, the less you do it, the more powerful it is, kind of. And sometimes it just happens... <laughs> <laughs> Something annoying happens. 
my first GeoGuessr world record had the first swear on my main channel in, uh, I think about for like five years. Wait, no, not five years, that's impossible, like four years. Darren Agesto has just come off the observation tower and watched his place to die in. Jesus, you are cruel. Well, let's fast forward a bit. So that we can actually do it. Well, guess 6137. It's your time to do the thing called dying. This looks so much better with the different, well, the, the alternating ground texture. As Max suggested earlier, I should kind of, you know what? I can do that here. I can make this stone. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. There we go. Gives a bit of a different character there. I mean, drowning a guest isn't family unfriendly. I would argue. But that's just me. I love how the coaster is still the big ugly blue. <laughs> That'll got changed, don't worry. It'll all get changed in time. I quite like this area. This is a good area to uh, take shots at. Especially once we recolor the coaster a bit. Also, apologies for missing this earlier. Thank you for 17 months, Claude the boy. Okay, so how about... No. Ugh. That's not bad. But I'm not sure if I do this on the outside. I quite like that. That's not bad. This is quite good. Maybe some greenish trains. How about we make them moss green? This is nice. I quite like this. Not so much the observation tower though. The observation tower can die. I want a different ride there. It's in the way. It's not nice. How about a spiral slide? That's much nicer. We'll put that there. Also, I love this little addition to open RST2. Look at this. This is not a flat, flat piece of land, yet I can still use this tool to place the path here. You couldn't do this, what I'm doing right now, in vanilla. You could place it here. That will work. Or unlike tiles like that that will work too but not here and you can do this in open it's been in the game for a while now like three years uh, something like that quite a while but i still really like it it's the little things that are nice like that what's an incremental game basically cookie clicker you know you have a number 
you click on something or you wait a while while the number goes up and you buy an upgrade and the number goes up faster. That's basically an incremental game and I quite like them. They're also called idle games. They're not exactly the same but they're close enough. Although some quote unquote idle games aren't really idle games as they are best played with quite an active playstyle. You know, clicking on boosts and getting combos with that, you know, stuff like that. That path placement isn't a game for a while now, I can't do it. Ha do you have the most recent version? What kind of version do you have? Because I'm pretty sure it's in, been in the game for a while. Then again, I've been wrong on that before. Anti-meta dimension, I'm pretty sure I've played that. Do you remember when I thought that the uh, building train tracks through path without zero clearance was in the game for like... Maybe half a year? <laughs> While it was already in the game for like seven. <laughs> seven years. I sometimes get things hilariously wrong. But that's part of being a YouTuber. Although I must be honest, that's also sometimes... Keeping me from creating certain videos. There are definitely videos that I was started writing, but then got kind of unsure on how to exactly word things. And kind of scared that I would get things wrong. Factual things, especially. Um, you know, especially if I, like, explain how a certain thing works. So it's sometimes holding me back a little bit. Oh, no, you can't do it on, corn uh, on all tiles, but on the corner down tiles, you can do it. Haunted Mansion in the Forest... Uh, I don't think we really have place for that. I don't really want to build another ride here. I think it's fine like this. Because it's meant to be a dense forest. And if I make a hole or a ride in it. I kind of do want to give these a different entrance style though. How about wooden? A cozy foot court. We can do that. Platform 69 and three quarters has broken down. Oh no. How about some music here? How about some chill? Uh... Is Rock Style 3 chill? I don't know. How about we do... I don't know. Water style. I like that. I hear some people... He, um, have crashes when quitting. Ever encounter that? Oh, plenty of times. I thought that was just a well-known bug. It happens so often that I just ignore it and continue with my day when it happens. You know, it, it, it hasn't happened now for like a week or so, but... Then it might happen again, and then, you know, might happen a few times in a few days, and it might not happen for a while. I've just come to accept it. The view you have now is pretty much exactly what I had in mind last year when I first suggested the whole river thing. Oh, nice. I'm pretty happy with it. What exactly is the sponsorship, by the way, Jenna? Janice? I'll just call you Janice or... Um, is it just literally giving you money, or is it going to some kind of bigger 
some kind of thing that you can only use for open RST2 or Not that it really matters for me, because, you know, I'd be more than willing to pay you for it. I'm kind of curious. And might also be nice for other people to know. Okay, so a food court. I do want to build something here that isn't a food court. But something that's a bit different how about just something in the woods you know um a little cabin just so that there's something there that makes it a bit more you know alive or whatever an individual sponsorship. Yeah, but my question was also like, is it just going purely for open RC2? Or am I literally just giving you money? Both are fine with me. Okay, this guy is not very smart and he has his wood on the hills. Nah, let's not do that. I'm not going to be that uh, cruel. There we go. Now you can see it, actually, from this angle. Sight lines. That's the whole thing that Brian works with as well. What's the highest mountain peak that doesn't have snow on its top? Oh, I have no idea. I know that it's probably one in Africa. I know that Kilimanjaro has snow on the top. So, Mount Kenya? Something like that? I think that's the second highest mountain in, Amer uh, in Africa. Uh, why? I'm pretty sure that Mauna Kea has snow on top. Not entirely sure, though. I see pics of Kenya with snow, too. Well, that's the only two tall mountains I know in Africa. Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya. My knowledge on mountains isn't very good, to be honest. Like, I know a few here and there. But I definitely could know a lot more. Okay, we can build a little foot court here. It's Mont Bissis. Nice. <laughs> Brown red shirt. What's the angle with guest colors, shirt colors? I don't know. Someone started it today with like someone in a blue shirt. I don't know if it was blue. It was some color. And then everyone else just kept doing it. Now, I want to click on a red shirt. -er. A filthy red shirt. Where's one? There we go. You will die. It's the latter. I don't know which one is that. That's the late last. But it's the latter. Each developer that has a sponsorship enabled can be given money. Each of might decide how to treat that. Usually we're all involved in more than one project. We would rather have it stay this way to keep the project completely open. To not irk anyone. Okay, makes sense. Open TTD have project donations. Honestly, there's not really much of a difference anyway, whether it's going in an open RST2 specific pot or just a pers your personal bank account. Because 
Um, either way, you're paying, you know, you, I know you have some kind of sort of license which you have for OpenRST2. Either way, you're paying those out of pocket anyway, so. But it, it, you know, it's sort of a technical difference. And some people might like it only if it's purely for OpenRST2, which is why I asked. Sixty seven hundred meters tall. Well then it's either in the Andes or it's in the Himalayas or mountain range next to the Himalayas. Uh let's have We only have one drink stall? Damn. And the balloon stall. Let's make it sell. Uh, don't need to pause, it's not even connected yet. How about dark pink balloons? And lastly, we shall do Unen Kiosken den den info. Which will not be connected to that path. Oh, that's literally impossible. Then I shall build it not on the side. Do you watch the Hermitcraft recap? No. I used to, but there's. No, no, no I just kind of got bored of it. Stopped watching. I know that was the whole meme with the Hermitcraft recap thing because the Hermitcraft recap crew is was on Empires during the crossover. They played, you know, the crossover was to Empires and they just play on the Empire server. Okay, let's build a nice little. What can I build? Ooh, that's nice. And then we'll build... Yeah, I'll just use these. Just like that. Oh, I quite like that. As a little food court. And then we'll do... Benches all the way here. I remember working a lot on the custom scenario goals thing, but then suddenly everything had to be changed. It just killed my motivation. Oh, uh, did they... Did they get... Uh... Yeah, you remember we talked about it. I completely forgot you working on that. But yeah, it has to be in whatever framework they work in, of course. Alright, let's have a little drink. You can always always ask to set up a donation tier to reflect your wishes. Like develop feature X and I will give you Y money. One of the popular plugins got started this way. Huh. Yeah, Gymnasiast left the team. And I don't know why, and I don't need to know why. But it is a shame, because, uh, you know, he did a lot for it. Um, I see some vandalism, so let's fix that. Let's see, um, highlight path issues, which is a great feature as well, by the way. But are there, there are more than three developers, right? It's just that only three have sponsoring available. I'm surprised. Okay, not only lamps are broken. I thought only lamps, but no, there's a bit more. Mostly lamps, though. Only a little bit of other stuff.
I also made several other features, but to my knowledge, none of them were accepted. RIP. He did a lot indeed, and the kind of work that requires in-game expertise. Yeah, I have a question for you, um, Genesisor. Do you ever play Roller Coaster Tycoon? Because I think we talked about it at some point, or, you know, or in passing or whatever, and you said you basically don't. But I might have that wrong. Not at all. Okay, so that was right. Why, if I may ask, why do you develop for a game that you don't play? I mean, I assume you just really like developing for it, but don't really care playing for it. But I wonder why. Like, how, how did that come to be? Because presumably you played it at some point when you were young, right? Or even not that. Okay, I want to add still something. Like, this part feels a bit bland. I don't want it to be a ride. But I want there to be something. Maybe a little, like, mountain lake? Oh, we could do that there. Hang on. Could do it there. I coerced my parents um, to buying me a box copy for a birthday gift. Okay, so yeah, you did play it. It would, because, you know, you no longer play it, you know, that kind of makes sense. But if you never played it, that would be, oops, that would be really weird. <laughs> I wonder though, because, you know, you don't play the game, so do you still kind of get a say in what features get added and not? I mean, of course, sometimes it's easy to just say no because it wouldn't work with the code, but I'm assuming you don't have a lot of, like, game knowledge then, because you literally don't know how to play the game. So in terms of game balance, would you know if a feature is acceptable or not? Chris Sawyer definitely played the role of Roller Coaster Tycoon during development. Just to see if the game was balanced. Okay, so you don't take votes in such PRs. Makes sense. I don't know how many of the other dev team... Um, plays. I mean, I know Brox plays. I don't know about Duncan, for example. Ollie's not a dev, right? Or is he? I believe he's not. He has definitely contributed at least a little bit. Not the usual Twitch account. I'm a viewer from YouTube for my first Twitch stream from the dude who breaks RST2 in ways nobody would have guessed 20 plus years ago. Well, welcome. Rawr. 51919. And thank you for the follow. Well, a lot of things apparently that I do were known about a long time ago, which makes sense because, you know, there was quite a vibrant community from a very early time. For example, the topless rotor drop, I found out pretty much around the time I made the video about it because I found out and made the video. But apparently that's been known for many, many years. I don't know when to stop, and I mean that literally, I don't know when I should stop by, you know, adding stuff. I quite like the little thing we made here, it looks very nice. Rowboats on the water. I don't think so. That would clog up the river. Ooh, maybe we could do, if I use sand... 
Is that too light? Because I want kind of different... Okay, that's not as light. This makes the water look a bit more interesting. Now, of course, that is something we shouldn't do. But as long as it's underwater, it's fine. Because then you can't see it. I do the back-end kind of stuff, but quite a lot of that. Things like multiplayer, crash reporting, fixing those crash reports, performance, tests. Makes sense. Occasionally I might come up with some feature or enhancement that isn't affecting gameplay significantly. What would be an, an example of that? Like, could you name a feature that I m might use regularly that you invented? How's the whole park looking right now? Like this. We've basically, well, pretty much exactly half of it is complete. Plugin that I'm looking forward to for a long time is the one that automatically refreshes ads so you don't have to. That's not a thing that, like, Genesis or make. That would be a thing that a random plugin maker makes. Now, but the cheat doesn't renew them. The cheat adds uh, never ending marketing campaigns. Just means that they don't end. The point is that as long as you have the money, it should be automatically renewed with the plugin. And I would definitely use such a plugin as well. Oh, one thing I really like, by the way, is what I'm doing here. Changing the scaling factor with a hotkey. That is so useful in making videos. The allow arbitrary write types thing. Oh, I like that cheat. It's lovely. I don't use it that often anymore. But it's great because if you have, for example, uh, well, let's say you have a nice twister coaster. And uh, then you want it to be... A monorail cycles. There you go. Now it's a monorail cycles. And it doesn't really work anymore. Because it doesn't have boosters anymore. Now it's an air powered vertical coaster. Boom. It's fantastic. Now it's a toilet. <laughs> now it's a multi dim. The scaling is mine as well. Just the scaling as a general thing. Or the scaling hotkeys. Because the scaling hotkeys was a feature that I specifically requested. Because they were so very useful. Okay, let's... I want to build some... Actually, I just kind of want to make this whole tower, this mountain in the middle. What if I make it grey rock? Because we already have dirt on one of the parts of the park. So what if we make this a rock instead? Hotkeys was someone else's feature. Okay, well the scaling factor in general is incredibly useful. Because the problem was that in most of my videos on my 1080p screen... I already had to make it bigger because people couldn't read it otherwise. The info in like right windows. Um, and I now use a 1440p screen. Which is even worse. So I standardly play at the what I'm using now. Which is 2. I mean this... Is one. Yeah. Have fun reading that my friends. <laughs> That's just not happening. I mean have fun reading this at a half. 
<laughs> I love the like, zooming out all the way at the half. It's ridiculous. It's so tiny. And of course it's fun to just hold down the button. And just do this. And get the ridiculous scaling factors. <laughs> Can we get it to the top of the screen? The green uh, thing. <laughs> yes, we can. This is... I wonder what scaling factor this would be. Zooming out is a lot faster. It's not as laggy. Okay. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's two again. Year six. Yeah, we are in year six. Thank you for the follow-up, Pinion. I'm also going to make the sides different. Just so that this feels a bit more built. Okay, what if we make this... Oh, that's not... Whoops. Well, you know what? I'll change that back later. Um, Because that's all done with wall texture. Because that's how it was done in RST1, of course. I forgot. Okay, let's change that back to... Is that nice with the bricks like that? I like that. Yeah, this is pretty good. Hang on, let me click on that Twitter. So I'm playing on a 5760 by 1080 screen. Oh, not one screen, it's just three screens, three normal 1080p screens next to each other. And it's Transport Tycoon, but close enough. <laughs> I've seen something like that before, definitely. But I don't, I don't need to do, you know, I'll play final on one screen. I do love having two screens, by the way. One of the best investments I've made ever. Is there anything nice that I can put, like, on the hill? Or shall we leave it like this? Maybe a few dead trees? There are three picks. The second one's RST2. Oh, I didn't see that. Will a cool coaster through that castle? Nah, I quite like it this way. Okay, I think that's enough. Shouldn't go further than that. At least not with the trees. Okay, I kind of want to give... Get back to the desert a little bit. Is this broken down again? Wow. I oh, thank you for the bits, Linky. Then we guessed Tycoon Fever. Sure, why not? You there! You will be Tycoon Fever! There you go. Because this desert is still... It's not entirely... It's mostly just haphazardly placed bushes and cacti, isn't it? So... No. I find desert scenery difficult. Because, you know, after you've built a pyramid and a few Egyptian stuff... ...pieces... ...then I'm kind of out of ideas for desert builds. So I don't really know what to do with this. 
could start placing random palm trees, but that's still more of the same. I don't know. Does anyone have any ideas? With this within the scenery that I have. So no bikini ladies. Not today. You want more of those? <laughs> you need to watch this the one where I've completed the scenario in four hundred hours. I could put like a little bone yard. That's not a bad idea. I mean, we already have a Mr. Bones. What if I, like, lower this a bit? And then... Also raise this up. And we need to have have a different ground texture here. Maybe this kind of rock? Oh god, that was still on. That's not kind of like dirt around it. Yeah, that kind of works. For a bit of a boneyard. Just so that it's something different. Wasteland desert. Basically, that's the idea. And then we'll put a little fence here. Because that'll look nice. Actually, that doesn't look nice. What if we lined like the park entrance with a fence here? Just so to make it, or the park fence with a fence. Yeah, I like that. You know, this gives the desert a bit more, a bit, a bit more life. Maybe I put a meteor crater in there. Do I have... I have a volcano. <laughs> Can I put like a volcano in there? <laughs> that That's massive. <laughs> Add a tent. I don't think there's a tent scenery piece. Now, of course, I could... Like do a little thing. Like a sort of... Uh, if I do this, and then okay, I can put this on here. Do like that. <laughs> it's the best I can do. Try putting Mr. A bit more life by putting bones there. Yes. Does more time have you used any DLC in this usual playthrough? Like UCES or Pink Water or any of the original DLC rides? I have basically everything of that kind of like that kind of stuff, but I don't, don't like I don't use pink water because pink water is ugly. <laughs> it's very very ugly. Okay, yeah, the problem with this volcano is that I don't have the space for it, so we're not gonna get a volcano. Which is fine. There's already a bit more life in the desert. So that's going well. Okay, so how about we, for example, put a little more color here. By building some fences around Mr. Bones. And... We could maybe do something like I already have the graveyard monument. Could we do anything with <laughs> we could build probably to build like a chess match in the desert, but yeah. That's not really 
thing. I'm gonna go to check the barrels. That's the thing you could see in the desert. And a little bit of wood. Like someone's living there. Why not? Just like that. A desert needs a monolith. You mean... Something like this, but obviously a bit better. That's definitely something. I could make one here. Because there's some space here. This was a bit of a dead area anyway. That's a good idea. Something like that. Maybe. Obviously need to... Recolor the walls and the ground a bit. Okay, so what if we make these red rock? That looks good. Are the colors of the rainbow all drowned? No, no, no. We haven't had orange and we haven't had pink. Is that called a monolith? I don't know. I mean, I got what you what you meant, so it's good enough. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to alter this, because I already like the way it looks. Violet. That's sort of, Violet is sort of like a dark purple kind of color, right? So... I want to spot that. I think we have had... Have we had purple? You know what? I'm just going to drown this guy. Earlier you asked how many developers there are. Overall there were 509 contributors to the main project. That includes drive-by developers. But doesn't necessarily include translators or people working on open music, etc. The team currently counts 8 people. Intel, Orca, Duncan... Me, Brox, Tulio, Oli. Oh, Oli is a dev. I wasn't sure. Rick and Matthias. We have six former members of the team and five long term contributors. Yeah, I think Cretonium is a former dev as well. And he, I think he was like l left as a dev a long time ago. Or was he just a long time contributor? I'm not sure. Either way, he definitely did some work. Didn't get that name. Cretonium. I'm pretty sure he was some kind of... Hang on. Is it me? Or if I zoom out, that the monolith has some kind of ugly lines going through it. Not if I zoom in, but if I zoom out, there are. Well, the desert already looks a lot better, thanks to these additions. So I'm happy with that. I think we should, like... What do we do that? No, what if we make it dirt? Yeah, a little bit of dirt patch there. It helps as well. And I think... With that, basically, half the park is done. Also, what I really like about the scaling factor... Because for a long time, any scaling factor that wasn't a whole number... Kind of looked... Off. It was like it didn't properly... 
draw things and it looked ugly. And which makes sense because obviously if you go from one to two, you just double all the pixels. You make them just two by two. You can't really do that if you go from like to one and a half. But not too long ago that got changed so that now it at least looks really good at non-integer scaling factors. Which is really useful because sometimes, like for example for this part, I would want a scaling factor of 1.25. Or two and or like two and a half maybe, but like because this is one which is a bit too zoomed out. But yeah, anything more zoomed in is too zoomed in. So I really like that change as well. This is 0 0.75, which also isn't exactly perfect. I think that was my improvement. Well, thank you for it. Because it's really good. I don't really have to think about what scaling factor I'm in anymore. While I did have to think about that a lot before. There was also, like sometimes when I use an older build, uh, build I encounter this bug again. Because there is a bug that was for a long time that if you change scaling factors like from 1 to 2 it looked ugly like incredibly ugly sometimes even barely legible text even though you were on 2 but if you then restarted the game or switched drawing engines it would look fine again because it kind of reloaded but if you just did change scaling factor you, that it didn't reload that kind of so and I sometimes encountered that again I use one of those old versions for some whatever reason and it always makes me laugh. It was annoying back then, but now it just makes me laugh because I don't encounter it a lot anymore. And not like two weeks ago or something, I was on an old version. And I encountered some of the worst graphical, well, ugly graphical rendering ever. This was, this was absolutely not readable. <laughs> I can't find any commits by Cretonium, but I do recall him doing some features very early on. Yeah, I have one save file that is from him. Because he participated in, I believe it was the very first, or one of the very first um, challenges on the Rollercoaster Tycoon and Friends Discord server. And he mm, contributed an unfinished maze for a maze challenge. Cretonium's Maze Park. Dot .sv6 It's uh I mean it's quite an impressive maze To be honest <laughs> It's a massive thing And there's a little bit of a park uh, Built around it With uh, some nice coasters But yeah obviously Not entirely finished Did he make this all by hand? I think he did. You can clearly see the guests are only in this one area. Looks like a plugin. This was before plugins existed, though. Well, I mean, trainers did exist, but this was in late 2017. Doesn't show the date here, because I, when I transferred these files in 2019, they all got changed to 2019, but this was in late 2017. Also, what I built for the maze challenge... Oh, you meant it ironically. Sarcasm or irony is sometimes... Hard to detect. Um, on text. Let's see. What I made... Which is also my desktop background... Is this. For the maze challenge. I built... The first... Uh, well, Twin Leaf Town and the first route... Which are in from Pokemon Diamond. And the genius thing is that I uh, used mazes as the tall grass. Which is, you know, exactly the layout of the tall grass. And I'm quite proud of that. And also, guests can walk down these ledges, but they can't walk up them. Oh, and this is not a guest. This is one of the NPCs that's standing there. They are also there. This is about as exact a recreation as I could make. With a few custom scenery items. 
Can you upload that park? You mean Cretonium's uh, park? Route 201 theme. Isn't that like... That's terrible and not recognizable as anything. Although you might recognize it... Because I have it in my head, which I think is Route 201. But I'm not exactly sure. That may spark. Alright. Um... But yeah, I'm proud of it. But one of the judges on that maze challenge didn't recognize it and gave it a low score because he didn't know it was from Pokemon. I'm not going to play that because of copyright music, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll look it up later. I'll definitely recognize it, though. Did you not win that? No, not at all. That's, is it, I don't know. I don't think I called them maze challenge. So I don't know if I can find any others easily. Here are some one hour challenges, by the way. Which I made five of. <laughs> Just because I could. It was basically build the best park. Um, in one hour. And so my first one hour challenge. Brace yourselves. This is going to be ugly. Is. Is. That. Now I told you this is going to be ugly. Because I made one mistake. <laughs> and that one mistake. Is that I made the colors wrong. If I change this. But that was too late to change this. If I change this to orange. It looks a lot better. Now, by the way, the, f the, f the fun thing here is that these are four identical coasters. You know, if I make this one entirely red, and I'll also uh, do that. And... Make this one entirely blue. And we'll go yellow. And here we'll go green. You can see that they are identical. And that was a trick of mine that I did here for the second time. I did it earlier as well. With four identical rides. That perfectly fit inside each other. Um, and I'm quite proud of it. It looks really cool. Anyway. Then I did a second one hour challenge. Which was a bit less hideous. How? Well, I just built all of them at the same time. Um... Although, this chain leaf construction is weird. But other than that, yeah, it's a nice dueling wooden coaster. The reason they're all the same size is because you got given the plot and the workbench. You got basically given a save file which you had to build in. I think they're not exactly synchronized at the moment. Hang on, maybe they're broken down? They are synchronized, right? Yeah, but somehow they're not going simultaneously. Hang on. Uh, clear cross. Tick, tick, tick. There we go. Now they're going simultaneously. Was that the toy we found in every doctor's waiting room? Pretty much the previous park, yeah. These are pretty well synchronized, I think. And then they go over the hills. I like this element. With the turns. And then here. This one. The one that goes down there. This one doesn't have guests. So it's quite a bit slower. Which is quite noticeable here. So they're not synced all that well. If one doesn't have guests. Then I have. Did my third one. Which is uh, 
quite a ride, if I may say it myself. <laughs> Let's follow these. There they go. Oh, well, they stopped on uh, holding brake for drop. And there they go. Very fast. Then they go up. And then they go down like that. <laughs> this is a hell of a construction. But it works. And they're decently well synchronized. And then they have a few hills here. And then we have the big finale in the loops. Synchronized loops. Stats 10.13 and 10.17 excitement. Stegosaurus and T Rex. Next one is my second favorite. Last one is my favorite. Uh, once it loads, there we go. This is just a big old flying coaster. With some industrial uh, looking scenery. I quite like this one. Also a lot of vomit. This thing also has 10 excitement. I called it Old Iron. Now if anyone can tell me what that a reference is to... I'll be very impressed. It could... I mean, there are probably multiple pop culture things called Old Iron. So you might think it's a reference to something, which it isn't. But if you can guess the correct one... I'll be very impressed. Old car tracks. Nope. It's a specific character in something. Um... What do you think? How would these challenges go if you did one today? I don't know. At this time, I was quite a f very creatively inspired, which I may be a bit less nowadays. So that might hamper me. Iroh from Avatar. Now it's old iron, not old Iroh. But it is from Avatar. <laughs> And the last challenge, last one hour challenge, I'll show you what others built as well, because that's quite interesting. So, this is my favorite actually. And I don't know if, if it looks better like this. Or with this, I think this looks better. Actually, this probably looks better. But I quite like this. Of course, it has 10 excitement. You know, I built this in 2017. That was my phase where everything had to have 10 excitement. I was the excitement king. You know, that, that, that phase. Um, and so naturally, all these rides have 10 excitement. I liked the yellow better. That's fair. I like this a little bit better. You know, the dodgems and the 3D cinema fit in nice. Let's see what others built. Let's see what Bacon Elemental built. God, a lot of these names are old. A nice invert. This was also built in one hour. Some nice flower beds. You can definitely see a lot more talent and skills in scenery than I have. <laughs> Drink some water, alright. Let's have a sip. Was it always only one coaster? No, I've, I had to where I had two dueling coasters. I believe it was basically a one hour challenge. Do whatever you want. Oh, Genisosaur, um, I keep meaning to report it as a bug. Or at least I think it's a bug. You know how... Or maybe you can tell me it's on purpose. You know how you can drag this to make it bigger, right? 
You used to be able to do that with the load game screen as well from the bottom right, but since a while that's been removed. You can't do that anymore. Which is, so I can never read this entire save file name. If that wasn't on purpose, then I'll make a bug report tonight. Before I forget again. Anyway. Stu is a name uh, a lot of you might recognize. He, you know, he makes YouTube videos still. Sounds like a bug. Yeah, it does sound like a bug. And, oh, I remember this. Look at this wonderful ride that he built. Isn't that amazing? Let's fast forward a little bit. Seems only one of the signs is populated, unfortunately. Look at that. And then the inversions there. That's some amazing work. This is a fantastic ride. And he, you know, built a nice park around it. Scenery was also not his strong point. He was a bit more towards scenery than I was at that time. But he was also very much, if you watch his YouTube videos, you can see that. Very much in the methodical, organized style of building. Is it a Mobius? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. 7.8 excitement. Okay, let's see. Cloud Striker. Now, that's an old name. Yeah, Stu is kind of like the Mobius coaster guy. <laughs> Ooh. This is very white. It's not uh, very diverse. We got a wing coaster. I remember those coasters losing like speed way too fast because they were way too light. It gets boosters. It also had crazy stats. Yeah, 9.85 for this. Lol. That's because of plus 15% excitement. This is a good coaster as well. I like the roof of this building. Let's see what else we got. Coaster Crazy. Let's see how many coasters there are in here then. I think Coaster Crazy was one of the founders of the RCT and Friends Discord. Okay, we got... I think these are two separate ones. Yes. I like this. Oh, I like this, where they go a bit underground and then above ground. That's nice. It's very nice. You know, you only have one hour. So. It makes sense that people aren't building like five different coasters. Hank Krai. That's also such an old name. What state of Australia is Adelaide contained in? Okay, so Adelaide's at the bottom. Is that... Is that New South Wales? I mean, that's south in the name, so that kind of makes sense. I don't know where the states of Australia are exactly. I like this with all the, the colorful grasses. Looks cute. We got a, ooh, got a big, fat, futuristic launch. It's South Australia. I didn't know if that was... I didn't know that that was uh, one of the provinces or states or territories or whatever you call them. This is really cool. I like this as well. It just looks wonderful with all the tunnels going under everything. Ah, Sydney is the capital of New South Wales. Makes sense. Park complete. What's that? Doesn't sound like a username. Was it? Is it one of mine? Did I name it? Oh, okay. It's coaster crazy again. SDM has two apparently. So let's see what it is. 
Okay, this is a really simple park. But cute. A nice simple maze. A nice junior coaster, a nice woody. I like it. Oh, look at that. We got a red info kiosk. Do they now get colored according... Yes, they do get colored according to their balloon. Isn't that nice a balloon? Umbrella color. Let's see what SDM's first contribution is. Come on, load please. Ooh. Well, that's a massive bobsled. That's like two kilometers long? Well, not quite, but getting there. There's a lot of helixes. Look at that. It's crazy. Olympics be like, I'm pretty sure the Olympic run is shorter than this. I mean, maybe in total length not, but in time definitely. But they go a lot faster. <laughs> I have dropped four meters. <laughs> yeah, because helixes don't count as drops. We got Tom Garstenveld. I want the bobsled coaster that mimics an actual bobsled more. Ooh, I like this one. This is a proper coaster. With proper custom support. I mean, they're not very difficult to make here. But it's still very well done. Because this is basically just a scenery piece raised up. Like, this is literally one scenery piece. Just done that. So, it's quick to make. But then again, he had to make them quick. Because he's only got one hour. This is very Fluxtrans, isn't it? And for good reason. Because Fluxtrans, the Fluxtrans style... Is a very beautiful style. Yeah, I like this with the flower beds and the little balcony like thing. It's lovely. How do you make that in one hour? Well, I can almost guarantee the forest was placed was made with a scatter tool. If not, then he was just rapidly clicking everywhere. Now you can make this forest in 10 minutes. You can build this coaster. It's not a very long coaster. There are two coasters actually. And like I said, these custom support pieces are... You can do them all in 5 minutes. So yeah, I can definitely see this done in 1 hour. I could build a massive park in 1 hour. If I just, you know, build quickly. Not very beautiful, because that's not my thing. The houses. I mean, they're simple buildings. If you have experience making those kinds of buildings, which I'm pretty sure Tom had. Oh, this is a similar style building. Then you can do that very quickly. Which was this by? Trippy Lion? Yes. It's not all that special. It's a wing coaster again. We've seen it before. Let's see about Wheezy Beach side. Ooh! It's definitely a beach side. This, has, this feels more like a fair. But I like it. I love all, I like these flower beds and the fences and the path and the pink flower beds and the decorative trees. It's nice, isn't it? And you have the, 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 the side friction coaster. And the little Virginia reel. Yeah, definitely the fair is in town vibe. And I like it. It's beautiful. Very pretty. Okay, this is just called Wheezy. Is it the same as Wheezy Beach Side? From the same person? I don't know. 
Oh, I like this. I like wooden coasters. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, so these are the bamboo pieces and they're from the expansions. But they're still used well here. Oh, look at this. Two decorative trees, two flower beds, a fence, a little water thing with a fountain. That's so lovely. Like, those are the... That's so... This is so... Roller Coaster Tycoon, basically. This is Roller Coaster Tycoon embodied. This kind of scenery. If you know what I mean. I like that so very, very much. I really like that. Let's go to Zedo. Novatrax, thank you for the follow. Let's see what they built in one hour. Oh, that's a lot of custom scenery. And a bit of a hasty job on obscuring the land and making this a rectangle. Looks like fall. Well, it looks like a lot of different colors, not just fall. Fall in the middle of summer. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a massive fan of this one. I don't like these rocks as the scenery piece. So, let's skip to the next one. That's mine. Let's go to Simfox, who was the judge who didn't know roller coaster, or didn't know Pokemon. If they wanted the rectangles, doesn't the newer build an open RST2 sport rectangle maps? Yeah, but this was um, more than five years ago. Simfox apparently didn't finish his build. Also, it doesn't have any guests. And it isn't opened. Boring. Although the buildings are quite nice. I must say. So, props on that. Simfox was a good builder. Definitely a good builder. And that's all the one hour challenges. We also... There is one... Is it, does it just start with charges? It's one of my favorite parks that I've ever seen. Um, yes, this one. I love this one. It's featured in the thumbnail of my wooden coaster overview. It's absolutely amazing. Look at this. Just look at it. This is a f sod off with your breakdowns. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm such a big fan of it. I like the wooden coaster anyway, with you know the big, you know, extra supports on the side. It's beautiful anyway, but he did such a great job on it. I still talk to Char Charles occasionally. And yeah, I just absolutely love this. He doesn't play Roller Coaster Tycoon anymore. This is great. He was also one of the founders of uh, the, the Roller Coaster Tycoon and Friends uh, Discord server. Oh yeah, I put this fast chain lift on it. Or did he? I think I could maybe put it in even faster. I messed a lot with the chain lift speed to get a certain shot exactly right of one train being on the chain lift here and the other train being in this turn at the same time for the for the thumbnail for the wooden coaster overview. I love the spiral drop. Yeah, this whole bit. Isn't that amazing? He did such a great job on it. Absolutely fantastic. Another park I really like, built by Jaren. Um, I believe that was called Year 101. Now I'll zoom out a bit for you. This is uh, quite a massive park. <laughs> Look at this. 
Well, that's a lag spike. There we go. Look at this. Now, you know what the best thing is? Oh, sort of with your stupid breakdowns. This was all built... Not in vanilla, but basically with vanilla rules. So, no cheat in OpenRT2 were used. How many right just broke down? Oh, well. Um, no zero clearance. No custom scenery items. This is all vanilla. Except some convenience cheats like no breakdowns and stuff. And it's absolutely amazing. Everything is amazing everywhere. Just look at it. And these buildings, I mean, they're a bit empty on the inside, but they're beautiful buildings. This with the six dueling twister coasters. Which then do their thing here later. And if you want to know how long it looks, we're in year 101, assuming no speed up, that's about 85 hours. How much FPS? I mean, it's basically smooth if I'm zoomed in like this. I'm zoomed out like this, we're on probably like 10-ish. Then we have a hill here, where all the coasters change color. Like this little bobsled coaster goes green when it goes into the green. Look at the detail here with the decorative trees and then the chess pieces and then the cards. And then like a snail and some candy trees. The flower beds here in different colors with the bobsleigh going through it. Look at this. Look at look at this. Look at it. With all the flower beds on the on the land, like that. Uh, on, yeah, on the stairs. Yeah, it's basically every tile is covered. The only bit of respite you will find from all the scenery items is on the river. But also, there's plenty going on still. Thank you for the for, follow the broken flipper. And you get like a lovely building here. A massive Virginia reel. And some amazing... What are these? Hyper twisters? Stand-up twisters. Of course, they have inversions. They're not hyper twisters. And look at this! So many different scenery items. Alright, see ya, Max. This is just so incredibly dense. Look at it. Look at it. This is so magnificent. This is absolutely bloody amazing. Honestly, I would f I would vote this for the best park ever built. You know, I have done some great stuff. I've done the Universe Coaster and whatever. But if you go for pure roller coaster tycoon, just, you know, as roller coaster tycoon was meant to be played, you know, building a theme park, this is the best park ever built. Easily. All the custom stuff that the new elements people are doing, the custom scenery and the millions of cheats. That's great. You know, it takes a lot of skill to do that, but it's a different kind of building. This is so typical. This is so classic RCT because it's all built as vanilla. It's so great. Oh, hey, mom. Welcome. <laughs> uh, for the record, I didn't build this. <laughs> I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> but uh, someone else did years ago. And it's the best bug I've ever seen. Oh, Mom, I'll show you what I've been working on. Because I told you right before the stream what I was going to work on. Um, 
And we were finished with that. The second quarter of Magical Magic Quarters. Oh, about half an hour ago. And I started showing, showing off some stuff. So this is the first quarter we built last week. We added a little bit of things. But, you know, it's a desert. It has a mine train coaster. There's a sphinx. A pyramid. And well, a go-kart. An oasis. And some other stuff. And today, we built this. Which is uh, sort of like a dense pine forest. With a corkscrew coaster going through it. A nice cobra roll element. I'm quite happy with this. And in the middle is sort of, eh, sort of a neutral zone, I suppose. A little food court with a building that I built, which was last week already. And this was already there. This is part of the level as you open it. Hope you're doing well. She is doing well. And I'm very glad that you're here. Welcome. But you've also caught the end of the stream. <laughs> but uh, you'll be going to bed soon anyway, because you always do it around this time. Because you got to work tomorrow. You got to go out of bed early. I don't. But I'm still tired. So, uh, let's save. And I'm going to see if I can find someone to raid. Someone who's playing Rollercoaster Tycoon. You know what? I'm going to raid Brian again. I really like Brian. If you want a realistic park building, you got to watch his streams. So. Thank you all for watching. And thank you, Mom, for stopping by, if you're still here. And uh, thank you, everyone else. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Or next Sunday. Who knows? And have fun at Brian's stream. Alright, see you later. Good night. Sleep tight. Bye-bye.